Now covering Clay County, a body found Friday along the edge of the St. Johns River has been confirmed to be missing man Keith Perot. But the investigation into the 65-year-old's death is just beginning. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from Fleming Island where Perot's body was found last Friday. Scott? Mary, right now this is just confirmed to be an unconfirmed, an undetermined death investigation. Not a homicide, not a suicide, nothing like that. But we do know that the body was found in this section of the St. John's River. Pan left about a tenth or a mile so away from Keith Perot's dock where his boat usually would go. That's the community dock down there. So far, police not really saying they will not be able to tell us much until the autopsy is done. Reggie Poole was out behind his house when he noticed a few things. Just a nondescript um, object. I didn't really know for sure what it was because I was looking at it at an odd angle. So I went to a different vantage point and that's when I de determined there were uh, legs. And it's obviously a human body. So. After discovering Keith Perot's body, Clay County investigators used dental records to positively ID him, but we are still waiting on autopsy results to discover how he died. I spoke to one of Perot's sons, Frank, who by phone says, we believe an arrest will be coming soon. They don't have any independent knowledge of the police investigation, but they definitely say their father's death was suspicious. Investigators say the last person to see Perot alive was his girlfriend, Maria Romero. I talked to Romero's son off camera outside their gated neighborhood and asked why Perot's sons may believe charges are coming. His response? His mom and Perot's sons have never had a good relationship in the seven to eight years the couple had been together. And initially, investigators say they were getting conflicting stories about what happened from people close to Perot. They say those have since been straightened out, and as of now, they have no reason to believe any sort of criminal activity is involved. That could change based on what the autopsy finds, but that likely will not be completed by probably until next week sometime. We're live in Fleming Island. It's Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.